New at 6, summer construction, it can cause miles of backups. That's the case with the bridge repairs happening along I-70 and the Sniabar bridges. Yeah, what a headache. But MoDOT has a new plan for drivers. 41 Action News reporter Shannon Halligan explains how the zipper merge works. We've all been there. The signs say merge ahead. So you move over into the lane early and then get angry when someone rushes to the front and cuts everyone. MoDOT wants you to resist the urge to merge and actually everyone stay in their own lane and merge at the very last second like the teeth of a zipper. The signs are everywhere. Merge ahead, slow down, construction zone. Work on I-70 at Sniabar Bridge is causing backups for miles. As you can see, the left lane before the merge point is empty for just as long. But many drivers are afraid to use that space. Yeah, they're cutting the line. <laughs> yeah. Now the Missouri Department of Transportation is trying something new, the zipper merge. Use both lanes to merge point. So it's really telling them, please, if you're in the right lane, stay in the right lane. If you're in the left lane, stay in the left lane. Take it all the way down to a sign that says merge, has an arrow, that's the merge point, and merge in. Have you ever heard of the zipper merge? I haven't. Have you ever heard of the zipper merge? No. It goes against everything Kansas City drivers are used to. Yes, it's, very, it's a change, a change of perception to say it's okay. It's okay to be in that lane, that lane that soon will be closed, but it's not closed yet. But if all goes as planned, MoDOT says using two full lanes of traffic will cut the length of backups in half and can even prevent road rage. Nobody's upset because everybody's where they're supposed to be and where they're allowed to be. MoDOT adds that this method should be used when it's heavily congested. However, when traffic is moving at the speed limit, they recommend that drivers do move over early. 441 Action News, I'm Shannon Halligan.